Hi, my name is Timothy Abyssia. So today's Q and A. Um, the reason why it's very, very dark is you know it's the it's the time I'm recording really, and um, I don't want to turn on the main room lights because that's positioned behind me, you know, silhouette problems, and I don't want to um, use the lights on the phone because it's blinding to my eyes, you know. <laughs> so I'm only using the um, desktop lamp light at the moment, but Hopefully you guys can see me, but then, you know, you don't really need to see me. All you really need to do is hear me because I'm just answering questions here. So um, I'm going to start off with B-Boy Agent Tekken. And um, because I missed his episode, um, because I missed um, his question on the last um, Q&A proper, even though I read it down, I completely messed it up. And um, uh, he gets three questions today. So that question from um, the last Q&A was, have you ever been arrested before? If so, when and why? Or was it when the cops warned slash stopped you or something like that? I ain't really had much. I mean, in 2003, you know, when I tried to commit suicide, the security guard stopped me and they, and they called the police and the police took me to the mental health place, you know. I don't know that, that, that might. I don't know if that counts as an arrest because technically I, I was in the the um, squad car, you know. You know they were um, taking me there, you know. When you you know just, <laughs> it was just random really, and um, there was a time when me and my friend was walking to a twenty four hour shop, and a police car literally just came onto the pavement, sh shine the light in both our faces. You know, they were looking for um, a certain black guy walking, going around, and it wasn't me. So, uh, so that that was really it. You know, it's the only thing. There's only situations I've had with police. Any other things are just probably minor. Uh, so the second one is, um, have you ever kissed someone or made out? If so, how did it go? Well, um, definitely. Um, kissed um my ex-girlfriends you know they the relationship did never really take an, a a situation further which kind of made it you know so it, it there was no situation of make out but definitely kissed them and you know it was nice and the relationships there were nice even though some didn't even last long um hopefully the future will have something more different later on you know <laughs> hopefully for the better and it's the third question here is um do you guys have any favorite food culture if yes what is it and why um well uh well every sunday you know we like sunday roast and some people do sunday roast pretty cool some people do sunday roast pretty shit i think one of the best sunday roasts i've ever, ha ever had is um one from shadow lost arts he, you know he cooks really good and then um, another food yeah we all like is pie and mash. Some people do pie and mash yeah absolutely terrific, and my friend's mum does pie and mash absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so that those are usually the main British foods that you know you always will get a certain British person talking about. <laughs> and Martino 7 asks if you could live in any realm of Mortal Kombat, which would it be and why? Um. I think there would be two that I could sort of live in, really. One would be... Um, what well, One could probably be the Living Forest, where, um, you know, which is more near uh, um, Reptile's Lair. You know, and the reason for that is, because, you know, there's more Amphro characters around there, more characters that, you know different designs for those type of characters and everything that yeah a lot of good um fantasy stuff around there all those evil fantasy just hopefully if i was living in that realm i'm good enough to defend myself obviously <laughs> you know and then another um realm i could say yeah another area could be the charred um mountains you know where um you see the hybrid dragons which um, were characters in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, 
you know, when you play the story mode, you use, you use Taven, you go through the, um, the stronghold in the Charred Mountains, you see all of these um, um, red Amphro dragons, you know, they're called hybrid dragons, and I think they were, I think they were brilliant, I always like those characters, and um, that's it really, that's what I can see myself personally. And uh, his second question here is, um, what are some of your favourite special tag throws in Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Whether it's King Marduk, K King JC, Law and Paul. Well, my favourites are actually King Marduk and K King and Armour King. I have seen a few others, but it is kind of, you know, you'd be shocked to know that I haven't actually seen that many um, other special tag throws. I mean, and it's, fair enough, it's my fault because I don't use that many other characters, you know. One time I just saw a random video where um, a guy done this um, special tag throw with um, Ogre, an ancient Ogre, and it was absolutely terrific. It was like, whoa, you know, maybe I should um, actually go on to video and look at some others, boy, because there, there are some others that I've missed. You know, one time um, someone used... Um, I think it was Steve and JC on me, and he gave he gave me a throw, and I thought, wow, even them two have a throw together. And it's like, I think Steve and JC, you think that they don't know each other, and they. So I'm really impressed with what Tekken Tag Tournament Two has done. It's really, really a brilliant game. And Andy fourteen thirty two four asks, what is who is the hottest um, female actress in your opinion that is acting recently? Don't know, I can't, I can't think of it recently. I think... I think the only hottest act I can te technically think of... The only one I guess I can think of is Lucy Lou. That's probably about it. Not really sure. I'm going to have to just say Lucy Lou. And have you seen the film Talk Radio of her or heard of it? All I've seen is the front cover of or poster of the film or whatever. I've not I don't know what it's about. No, no I've not heard of it. I mean not watched it, you know. And Stephen Jameson asks um, which character in Tekken franchise would you like to see have their story more developed so they are more involved in the legacy of Tekken? Um to be totally 100% honest, uh, well, <laughs> as biased, as, I mean, obviously I'm biased, so it, I would say King, but then I I agree that where the hell would King fit in the legacy of Zagan with the way the story of the Mish, of the Mishmas and blah, 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 and, you know, whatever is happening with these guys, this and that, I don't know how... King could fit in those stories, to be honest. So, um, so I ain't really sure what else to say on um, for the legacy of Tekken. Now, um, second, Xbox 360 sales are smashing PS3 sales. Why do you think they are? Do you think Sony will once again become the kingpin of console gaming? Well, I didn't even know yet yeah, that 360 sales are smashing PS3 sales. You know, if they are, I can only assume it's because of um, loads of people like the games on free, 360 better than um, PS3. And... Um, uh, um, there are some games that came that's come out recently on PSN that was on Xbox Live years ago. So there is that. Xbox 360 does have its better parts, but um, I've always just been uh, the PS3 guy. But do I think Sony will once again become the kingpin of console gaming? At the moment, I'm not sure what's happening. It depends how how um, the new Xbox goes and the PS4 goes. From what I'm hearing with the Xbox 360, I can't see 
Xbox doing that well, if you know what I mean. P.E.S. Charlie. One time I put, I said P.S. Charlie, I think, last time. Um, so I suppose you're a Pro Evolution soccer fan, right? So P.E.S. Charlie asks, um, Hi Tim, I've never used an arcade stick before, but rather a PS3 controller. But I've but lately I've been interested in buying one. The only thing stopping me is that it won't be as cheap to buy one, and I might prefer using a controller. What do you think I should do? Um, well, that's a tough one due to the fact of. Actually, no. You can just do what I do. What I did. My first ever arcade stick here was the Mayfair PS3 slash PS2 arcade stick, which was um which is completely was cheap. It was only thirty it was only thirty quid and I think there's cheaper ones out there as well. What you do is you get that one and you start off practicing with that and if you get good with it and you love it, then you start getting into the real official um arcade sticks and get the proper expensive ones. And that's kinda of what I did. You know Damn, I, I ain't used I ain't used this for years and man, look how dusty look how dusty this got. Fucking hell <laughs> Shit Okay. You might not be able to see that. Very dusty this is boy. But here's um the Mayfair PS3 stick. You can just see you can see yeah, that it's just a plain stick. There's like nothing on it and all that. This costs 30 quid. That's all you need to do, yeah? Just um play play with this just to, you know play, play with something like this here yeah, to, to practice and then um then you know if you like it get something like a Tekken arcade stick proper. I only joined I only got the I only started playing arcade stick and everything that because I wanted to start getting myself into um tour tournaments and stuff and that never even happened. But I, I'm pretty sure you're younger than me so it's your chance. Don't, don't waste it like I have. Ryan Fortin asks, how long can you hold your breath? Um, I don't know. Okay, I'll let it out there. <laughs> okay, I can hold it a bit longer than that, yeah. It depends. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood to try it, really. Um... I think I can hold it pretty long, yeah, because I do recall one time um, I was messing around in my cousin's swimming pool and, and I did hold my breath underneath the water for quite a bit of time and they were, say, they were saying to me, it's funny how you can hold your breath for that long and yet you can't even swim. <laughs> so it's pretty funny, really. But uh, I can't really... I'm not really ready to demonstrate for you how long I can hold my breath for right now, but I can hold it for quite a bit of time. I'm not sure what the, what the number, how seconds it is, but at the moment I'm not sure. And what is the most physical, pain mo pa painful moment of your life? One time, um, I f I tripped over my own house. I fell up. I fell over, and I don't know how did I fall, but I must have fell with my toe going the going a different direction it wasn't bad as john bones jones toe that broke that broke the other day at his fight but i remember falling down my toe just ached like hell and then i remembered i was young at i was young at this point i was only something like what 10 years old or something i'm not sure and then i remember being um I remember it not even hurting that much straight away, really. But then later on, it felt as if it got as if it was getting swollen and swollen, and it started hurting like hell. I couldn't concentrate on anything. I tried to go to bed yeah, just to sleep off the pain, and it wasn't. I was just screaming in bed. I was just crying, screaming in bed, and everything. It was a, it was a pain that was just refusing to go. I wasn't walking properly. Foot was in my foot was in bandage. Um, couldn't walk anywhere, weren't allowed to go out for a while. Actually, was I 10 years old or was I a little older? Maybe I was a little older than that. Uh, you know, I can't remember what age I was, but it, I, I, it was a young time. And I, I remember that pain 
and it was a pain that I was always that I'll never forget really. So that's I think that's my my, my painful one because it 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 was one that just made me scream the hell out. I'm I'm only going to assume my toe was this close to being detached. That's how that's how painful it was. And Leon six five six asks, "Have you ever played a Dreamcast console? And were there any games you liked on it? Power Stone was a brilliant game. Um, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure two. Actually, no, I played Sonic Adventure two on the GameCube, but it was a Dreamcast port game. So, uh, yeah, um, I did. But I did play Sonic Adventure one though. Yeah, still love that game. Um." I didn't play Jet Set Radio because I played Jet Set Radio Future, which was Xbox. But Jet Set Radio One, I did see it being played, and that was a brilliant, goddamn brilliant game. Was there any other games for? Oh yeah, I played um, Ready to Rumble. Um... Was there any other games? Come on, I remember there were some other games because. I went to my friend's house and I remember he had loads of games. I remember I can't remember which ones I I can't remember which other ones I played. But yes, I have played the Dreamcast console. And second, will you be watching the the Predator Two by Tony Jaw coming out later this year? Will I? Dude, the the, pro, the Protector, the first Protector, was one of the fucking best films ever. I didn't even know they were doing a second. So. Will I watch it? Hell yes. <laughs> and Joey Real Gamer asks, um, "Be honest, do you think they'll ever stop Call of Duty? Because it really looks unlikely, especially as it seems to be getting more and more and more popular." You know what? I think maybe in the past I might have said, "Yeah, they probably will stop it," but I'm gonna change that now. I think they may not. Um, I think they may not stop it because when you really sit down and think about it, there are games that are not as big as Call of Duty, and even they're not stopping, you know, they got games that's really big, and they're not stopping either, like, um, Final Fantasy, what are we on right now, Final Fantasy, was it 13, is that the last one, or was it 14, see, I don't even, I don't even, no, I've lost count, we've got so many fucking Final Fantasies, and just when you thought that there's so many goddamn Pokemon games, and that they've finished with that, no, they still carry on with Pokemon games, you know, still loads of those, and then, you know, Tekken, I don't even think Tekken's going to stop. And you know why I reckon Tekken won't stop? You know, even though Tekken does seem to be getting less popular these days. No one talks about Tekken anymore. My friends don't play Tekken anymore, but it's still getting done. You know why I believe that? Because we have tournaments of Tekken. I am pretty sure that there's probably um, tournaments. I think there's millions of tournaments of Call of Duty. You know, I'm, it wouldn't surprise me if you've got professional gamers who live their lives playing Call of Duty and as long as you've got guys like that out there, the games, the games will never stop. Never will stop. Guarantee there will be a Tekken 10. You know, guarantee there will even be a Resident Evil 10, although 6, 5 and 6 have gone downhill. Did you ever play any of the Prince of Persia games? If so, what did you think of them? Plus, why has Assassin's Creed got so big? Okay, you've kind of asked two questions there. Are you trying to get a third one in? Um, no, I'm joking. It's probably you're probably because of um, Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed. Some people look at those two two type of games the same thing. I say it's the same um atmosphere kind of ish, but anyway, um, I don't know why Assassin's Creed got so big and Prince of Persia games. Um, I never played them. I just watched them being played. It's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. Might not be. Might might just not be my type of thing really. Stocky Docky asks. Hat exactly are your beliefs, Temp. <laughs> you forgot your W, man. Alright, so what exactly are my beliefs? Um Well, I'm 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 a um, well basically he asked some more, which is are you religious at all? Do you try to live according to your religion? Well, I'm a ca a Catholic person. Um you know I have my own beliefs in God. I have my own sort of beliefs and I sort of follow things that way I just make sure I just don't do anything bad and I make sure I don't um, try and force my religion on someone else or try and make their religion look bad sometimes I think religion 
overall can be a little bit stupid because you get things that happen that's out of hand you know things that just go ridiculous sometimes there's those things but um at the moment all i just see is i just live with um situation of um being a catholic and i live on my own sort of religion like karma which was something i explained in a video years ago i don't know i think that video might still be up it might be um and second question here is when we will get an update on your studio equipment it's been a few years now one time um there was a time when i recorded a video an update and the, that video did not come out perfect at all so and i didn't bother record again because personally it wasn't that much of an update from the last one and there's a chance that i could be getting a really big update later on and since the last um, studio update the only things that i've been really getting is virtual stuff basically programs plugins not really much hardware so what you what you could see if i've recorded another one now what you could see in the studio is more or less the same stuff in the last one maybe a couple of different things that's it really i'd rather wait till i have something really big really something different to show basically so uh um i'm not really sure where we'll get where you get when you're going to get an update then also there was also another reason that because i haven't really come out with more music lately these days and i've been feeling like a useless idiot what's what's the point of me showing an update on the studio when no music's getting done finished at this studio so that's really it really so that's that's the q a and all that guys yeah thanks for the questions um i haven't got i haven't got an idea for what my next video is going to be you know um but might try and come out with some some random stuff uh um in may so um so that's what i want to say guys yeah thanks very much yeah i'll speak to you all later love who you are